hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel today i am going to talk about the main intuition behind penalized regression so in this video i am going to talk about the main difference between linear regression and penalized regression and what are the main differences between lasso regression and rich regression so in this video i am going to just talk about the intuition behind uh, these techniques so if you are someone uh, who just want to just want to know the intuition behind this uh, rather than going through all these complex mathematical stuffs in that case this video will be a very useful video for you so first i am going to talk about the linear regression so let's say we have this a linear model which is y is equals to f of x plus f sin so we call this f of x as the mean function which is equals to uh, expected value of y given x and this epsilon we call it as the random error we know that expected value of epsilon is 0 and variance of epsilon is sigma squared now we are going to estimate this model using our data and we will get this y hat y hat is equals to f of x hat which is the estimated model of this mean function uh, usually this uh, the estimated value will not be equal to it uh, will not be equal to a true value in that case we will have a residual residual is equals to y hi y i minus y i hat that means the difference between the observed value and the predicted value so our objective function is uh, rss s which is equals to residual sums of squares which is equals to uh, sum of uh, ei squared which is equals to a summation of a yi minus a yi hat squared so our uh, objective is to uh, minimize this objective function or this cos function with respect to beta so we will obtain our uh, estimators of this true model so by minimizing this ob uh, objective function we will obtain these OLS estimators OLS regression model estimators these mo estimators will be unbiased but these estimators have high variance because of that uh, because of this high variability sometimes it will affect the prediction accuracy that means because of this high variability sometimes the overall prediction accuracy of the model will go down so that is a problem so if we have that kind of a situation then we can use this uh, penalized regression so in this penalized regression what will happen is we are going to introduce some bias term to the model so by introducing uh, this bias term to the model what will happen is these estimators are no longer uh, unbiased but the most important thing is that now these estimators have uh, higher sorry lower variance so because of that the prediction accuracy of this model will increase so there are uh, a two most popular penalized regression techniques that people are using uh, the first one is a uh, rich regression and the other one is a uh, lasso regression so the main difference in this uh, rich regression and lasso regression is due to the objective function now you can see in this uh, rich regression we have this rss s which is equal to residual sums of squares plus we have this penalty term times l2 regularization term this is l2 norm so l2 we have this l2 norm so now we are going to minimize this objective function with respect to beta and in lasso regression uh, the main difference is that instead of l2 norm we have this l1 norm here which is equal to a sum of uh, these beta coefficients so our, our goal is to uh, minimize these objective functions uh, so that we can estimate uh, rich regression coefficients and lasso regression uh, coefficients so here you can see this lambda this lambda is 
we call as a tuning parameter. So usually in a machine learning model, if you have this kind of tuning parameter, we are going to estimate this uh, in, a, uh, in a, uh, such a way that this tuning parameter should be the optimal tuning uh, parameter. So in order to estimate this tuning parameter, we can use this cross validation. We can use either a 5 for cross validation, 10 for a cross validation, or sometimes a leave one out a cross validation, depending on a situation, to identify this optimal tuning parameter. So now in this rich regression, by uh, fitting a rich regression model, what will happen is it will uh, shrunk some coefficient towards zero, and in less of regression with uh, with this uh, L1 regularization and or this L1 norm, what will happen is that uh, it will uh, uh, shrunk uh, some of these coefficients all the way to be zero. Because of that, we can use this uh, less of regression as a variable selection uh, method. So there is some other advantage of this lasso compared to rich regression is, uh, is that this lasso regression can be used as a variable selection method. So these are the main differences between rich and lasso regression methods and also I earlier discussed the main difference between oilless regression and uh, penalized regression. So in my next video what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, how to fit this uh, last of regression model and rich regression model using R and I'm going to show you uh, how to uh, obtain these optimal parameters using cross validation. So if you want to see more videos in future, uh, please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.